Now let's look at how we can conduct a descriptive analysis. First, let's go to the variable view. We have a nominal variable, some uh, are ordinal variables, and some are the scale variables, which are quantitative variable. First, let's look at the uh, nominal variable and uh, ordinal variable, because they are categorical variable, categories. So how can we conduct a, a descriptive analysis of these variables? We take gender as an example. This is a nominal variable, and if we look at the original value, we can find it's either 1 or 2. And what does 1 and 2 represent? We go to the values, and we find in this case, 1 represents male, 2 represents female. Of course, in other species cases, you can also use 0 represents female and 1 represents male. It's up to you. The most important thing is you should understand that this numerical value represents different categories. And then we go to Analyze, Descriptive, st descriptive Statistics. We choose the first one to, uh, to calculate the frequency of the genders. And then we move the first um, variable, what is your gender, into the variable we know. And then we click a charts, because we also want to visualize it. And um, we, uh, for uh, gender, we only have either male or female. So the best way to show it is to show the proportion of uh, male respondents and female respondents. So we click pie chart, and we want it to show the percentage of it. Then you click a continue, and then click OK. Now, in your species output, you can find the first table is in a descriptive table. It tells you that in total, you have got 681 resp respondents, and among them, 404 are male respondents, while 277 are females. And for the male respondents, it uh, takes up around 60% of the total respondents, while female respondents are around 40% or 41%. And below is a pie chart to illustrate the proportion. And you can also edit the pie chart. If you double-click it, you can choose different color for different slides. I can also uh, separate these slides by clicking this button. Or I can also show the percentage of that. These are the percentage of it. When you close this window, you can find your original graph has already been changed into the new one. And for the new one, that's easy. If you uh, copy that, and you can uh, paste it to to your uh, S, uh, to to your uh, PPT slides or to your Word file.